let me see. I have a label here that says, this is the way the service flows. Ah. Doesn't flow this way. Doesn't flow Jose's way. Mm. It's got to flow God's way. Amen. Amen. Holy Spirit, have your way. Amen. Amen. And sometimes we come with these preset uh, things, you know, mindsets of, uh, you know, hey, uh, and we come comparing and competing with, well, I was at this church and this is how they do it, you know, oh. and uh, or I've got this going on and I've got that going on, you know, I've got so many things to think about. Mm. We got to capture our minds. And allow God to have his time with us. Amen. Yield ourselves. We talked about last week about surrendering. We got to surrender ourselves, you know. Surrender our minds. Surrender everything about us to him. And allow him to come and minister to us. How are we going to minister to us if we're too busy? Get off the throne and let God get on the throne. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> All those of you that are joining us, thank you for joining us. For those of you that are joining us by audio or video, we welcome you. Yeah. Bienvenidos a los que nos estén escuchando por audio o video. Prepárese a recibir lo que el Señor tenga para usted. And a happy Sunday morning to you. Feliz domingo por la mañana. And also, I want to say, happy Veterans Day. Yeah. You see, I'm kind of dressed a little funny today. Long time ago. Long time ago, Patricia talked about the old people. <laughs> We're the old people now. <laughs> <laughs> but a long time ago, when I graduated from high school here, I just gave you a little bit about myself. I didn't want to. I didn't know if I was going to go to uh, college or not, you know. So I signed up, signed up to go uh, military, and I signed up early, early enlistment, and I almost killed myself. The enemy tried to take me out. Yeah. Graduated in May. <laughs> By the end of May, close to May, end, end of close to May, May, almost kill myself, rolled over in the car or the truck, and uh, I was already signed up. But came September, I was ready, and I went, and I spent uh, 20 plus years in the military, retired from the military. As you can see, I'm proud to wear the uniform, amen? Oh but tomorrow is ha Veterans Day, and we just wanted to say Happy Veterans Day, and we got a few amen. things that we'll talk about here in a few minutes, amen? amen about the violence, but you are welcome to New Beginnings Church of the Big Ben. Amen. Amen. Bienvenidos a la iglesia de Nuevo Comienzo. Prepárese a recibir lo que el Señor tenga para usted. He always wants to bless you, yeah. encourage you, uh, change you, and he wants to correct you. Amen. Right. But we've got to be willing to let him do that. Amen. Amen. we got to surrender and yield ourselves so he can do those things. And don't leave like you came. You know, yeah. if you came sad, if you came uh, with all these things, uh, worrying about so many things, mm -hmm. let it go. Give it to him. And leave here changed. Amen. Amen. Don't leave like, like you came. Amen. Right. Leave a changed person. Amen. So prepare yourselves to receive whatever God has for you. Before we do all that, for us, prepare ourselves. Grab your sword, soldier of God. Amen. Amen. This is my sword. This is my yeah. Bible. Amen. And this is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I am what it says I am. I can do what it says I can do. Today, I'll be taught the word of God. I boldly confess my mind is alert, my spirit is receptive, and I'll never be the same in Jesus' name. Leave it up there. One day I want to preach on this. Okay? You got to know who you are in Christ. I am what it says I am. You got to take this word and make it yours. Yes. And you got to make it, you you have to make it work for you. Yeah. Amen. It's got to get in you to work out of you. You got to let it out. You take it in, but it's got to come out. Amen. But it says what it, you know, the world and people that the enemy uses, they are not God's children. Yeah. They are going to tell you that you're no good, that you're nobody. And you start believing these things, mm -hmm. and you start seeing yourself this way. But you got to see yourself who I am in Christ. Yeah. And I have what it says I have. Yes. You have what it says is yours, but you have to receive it Amen. and take it. Amen? Yeah. And it's so, so many times we just put ourselves down. Mm. And we don't have it. And we see ourselves poor. You could be a defeated Christian, mm. but don't be a defeated Christian. Be a, a Christian full of power, full of him. Amen. Going somewhere to happen. Amen. Hallelujah. Today, I'll be taught the word of God. You know, 
Well, it says I can do what it says I can do. He says you can do all things through Christ Amen. who strengthens you. Amen. You can do all things, not some things, but all things through Christ who strengthens you. And today I'll be taught the word of God. You know, sometimes we think hey, we put ourselves on a pedestal or we think that, you know, hey, I've got it. I've arrived. I know it all. No, you don't. We learn on a daily basis. Uh -huh. Amen. Don't see Amen. yourself as a, a, a nobody. See yourself a learner. Mm -hmm. Amen. We, we, we label always tr so fast, and people are so fast to label us oh, yes. in a negative way. Yeah. But see yourself a learner. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Well, you know, <laughs> you're not stupid. You're not dumb. Right. You're just learning the Word of God yeah. on a daily basis. Amen. Yeah. It could be one step at a time. Mm -hmm. Just like you climb that ladder. One rung at a time. Oh, Amen. One day at a time. Yes. And we're learning more and more and more. And guess what? We're maturing. Mm -hmm. And we're growing in Him, growing and growing and going for Him. Amen. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Yeah. This is totally different. When we just going, boldly confess, my mind is alert. Uh -huh. You know your mind is alert. You know what the enemy attacks? Mm -hmm. The mind. Mm -hmm. That's the battlefield. Yeah. You know, if you're not renewing your mind with the Word of God, He's just going to put some thoughts on there that's going to make you want to go back mm -hmm. to what you was. Yeah. Because the world and people are going to tell you, uh -huh. hey, you're a nobody. Yeah. Right. You're no good. God can't use you. Mm -hmm. So you're going to go back to what it was. No, and not, no. that's not what he wants. That's Renew right. your mind to what the word of God says you are. And my spirit is receptive. My heart Amen. is receptive. We're talking about your spirit receiving what God has for you. Yes. Yes. You're, a, you're a spirit. You have a soul and you're living in this yes. body. Amen. This is your temple of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Yes. This yeah. is a, very, very important. Yes. And my spirit is receptive. I'll never be the same. I don't want to go back to what used to be. Mm -hmm. I want to be what God wants me to be now yes. and press on and go on for Him. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes, that's just a that's just a little extra there for you. Amen. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Praise Thank God. You. <laughs> Amen. Woo. Let me Hallelujah. read you this and then I'll put some slides that I have for you. But anyway. Happy Sunday and happy Veterans Day. Tomorrow is Veterans Day. And we take time to honor men and women. Who mm -hmm. have served? If I don't finish, <laughs> forgive me. <laughs> it gets me. We also honor those who have died for the cause of our freedom. Mm -hmm. You know, I said it last week, I'll say it this week. Some of us are bold enough to say, well, you know, nobody in my family ever served, so I don't have to do this. You know? They ain't never did anything for me. Mm -hmm. Yes, they have. Yeah. <laughs> you live in a free country. Yes. Amen. You're able to go and do what you want to do. Yeah. Uh, uh, get as much edu education as you want to mm -hmm. and be as free as you want to be. Mm -hmm. So somebody gave their lives for you to be that way. Yes. So yes. don't say nobody in my family or I don't have nobody or no one uh -huh. anybody. You know, you see somebody in uniform, go up there and say thank you for your time. Thank you for your service time. You know, hey, let me buy you uh, lunch. Let me buy you a, let me buy you supper. And let me just pray for you. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm praying for you. I want you to know I appreciate your time and I'm praying for you. Yes. You know, they appreciate that. You know, sometimes I see these uh, police officers. I see uh, highway patrol people and I let them know. I appreciate you. I appreciate your time. I appreciate what you do. And, and we pray for you all the time. Amen. Praise God. I mean, come on now. <laughs> we honor all those who have died and called for the cause of freedom. Thank you right. for the sacrifices they have made. We owe a debt of gratitude. Yes. We enjoy freedom because they were willing to serve. Amen. Amen. It is time to think about the love, the love shown to for our country and for the, uh, our, their fellow man. Jesus, our greatest hero. I'm going to say this and don't take it the wrong way. Our greatest hero, our greatest soldier, our greatest vet. vet. Amen. Amen. Yes. Show his love, his agape love. You know yes. what agape love is? Agape love, there's different types of love. You know, the world just says one love, you know, but it's five different types of love. And agape, the highest love, mm -hmm. unconditional love. Yeah. For God so loved the world, yeah. agape love, that he sacrificed his own son. Yes. Amen. So, because of his love for us, Jesus came and allowed himself to be sacrificed for us. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. And thank you to all the vets for your service time. Honoring Jesus, our greatest hero, our greatest, well, our savior, hero, soldier, vet, whatever. Jesus and his agape love. Jesus, the greatest veteran, whoever 
fought for our salvation and won. Salvation is free. A lot of people don't know this. They think they have to earn their way or they think they have to buy their way and they don't know salvation is free. That's what Jesus went to the cross for. Amen. Yeah. Amen. You see these crosses up here? <laughs> You don't see Jesus up there anymore. <laughs> he died. He was taken off. He died. And he rose again. Amen? Amen. So he's no longer on the cross. The Bible says that he rose and he sat at the right yeah. hand of the Father. A place of authority. Yeah. Interceding for you. So he's praying for you. Don't say, well, nobody cares for me. Nobody prays for me. Well, I guess you say Jesus is nobody. Huh. Because he's praying for you. He says oh, he yeah. intercedes for us. Oh, yes, he he's does. praying for us. And you know what? He sent, he sent you here. And he sent you on this mission yeah. for you to fulfill. He says, yeah. I approve you. I have sent you on this mission. And I have equipped you. And yes. I have given you everything you need for you to fulfill. Now, the yes. world and people are going to try to stop you. <laughs> the, uh, the world, meaning the enemy, people are going to try yes. to stop you and redirect you. Mm -hmm. Amen. But we have to know that so we can keep on pressing on. Yes. Amen. So freedom is free. Freedom is for all who receive yes, it. it. Amen. Every day yes. is the Lord's day, and we should honor Him yes. on a daily basis. You know, yeah. it's not just remembering Him on a one day. You know, on Christmas, supposedly we celebrate Christmas. Every day is the Lord's day. He says, mm -hmm. "This is the day the Lord has made." Yes, I will. Some translations yeah. say we will. Some translations say I will. I will. Uh -huh. You could take the we and the I out and scratch it out and just put your name on there. Yeah. I will rejoice and be yes. glad in it. Amen. Yeah. So whatever circumstances your day brings, <laughs> and your circumstances are different than mine, <laughs> but whatever circumstances you're facing, know that you yeah. can be uh, rejoice and be glad yes. in it. Amen. That's your choice. You've got to make that choice yourself. Yes, yes. You know, don't bury yourself in all these things when he says, that's it on me. Give it to me so that you can go and do yes. what I told you to do. Yes. And so you can do it all. So we'll pray this and then we'll go on with those. Amen. So listen to this. Dear Father, we remember and honor those who have served and preserved and protected our freedom. Yes. We lift them and their families up to you. Yes. We also remember that Jesus... We also remember what Jesus has done yes. for us. We celebrate the resurrection and the gift of salvation. Amen. Amen. We place our faith and trust in you. Mm -hmm. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Happy Veterans Day to all those of you that are watching and listening. Thank you for your service time. Keep going. Amen. Thank you, Veteran, for your service time. Keep going. <laughs> I don't know all who have served. Veterans. Oh. Day. Amen. Happy Veterans Day to you. It says honoring veterans, past, present, and future. Thank you for yes. your faithful Amen. service. Amen. Amen. Doesn't stop you from greeting somebody and letting them know. Amen. You know, I walked in the Bible store a few minutes ago, walked in the store a few minutes ago, and, and some people walk up to me and said, I didn't know you. Uh, Sometimes you just have to be careful because they say, well, why are you wearing that? You know? <laughs> I didn't know you was in the Army. No, I wasn't. I was in the Navy. <laughs> but still, they didn't say, uh, they just say some, some things that might hurt you, so you got to be careful. I know none of them ever came up to me and says, thank you for your service time. But you have to be ready for that. Amen? You have to stand in there for yourself. Lord, I yeah. pray this unto you. Now you're in God's army, you've been recruited, and you're in his army, yes. and you go and you serve him well. Amen. Yeah. Praise God, whether people receive you or not, still, right. you represent him. Amen. Yeah. The Bible says that you're his ambassador, you're uh -huh. his uh, minister of reconciliation, yes. bringing Christ, the good news, to the world, lost world. Amen. Not only that, he says, an ambassador is a mouthpiece here mm -hmm. on earth, bringing the word of God to our lost generation. Amen? Amen. Just remember, I am proud to be an American where at least I know I'm free. <laughs> I won't forget the man who died, who gave the right to me. Yes. Yeah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Yeah. Keep going. Mm -hmm. On this veteran day, let us recognize the service and sacrifice of our brave veterans and their families. Amen? Amen. Families. Yeah. Amen. Some of these folks may have, well, never mind. Just go ahead. So don't forget the family. Some people dream the dream. Some people live the dream. Some people defend the dream. Yes. God bless the defenders. Amen. Amen. 
you know, like get him over. A hero is someone who has given his or her life to something bigger than oneself. Yes. <laughs> you know. Mm. In World War II. <laughs> Well, you never know when you hit the battlefield and they're falling like fires and you don't see them. They'll never come back. They'll come back in a box. Mm -hmm. Amen. So still, we honor that. A veteran, yes. whether active duty, discharged, retired, or reserved, is someone who at one point, his or her life, wrote a blank check to their government mm -hmm. for an amount of up to and including his or her life. Mm -hmm. yes. <laughs> Too many people don't recognize this. Yeah. Thank you, veteran, today. Amen. Yeah. I hope you're listening. I hope you're uh, watching this. <coughs> and I hope you're receiving this. You see the little pop in there. You're going to see it again in a few minutes. Go ahead. There you go. I have a little poppy as red as red can be to show that I remember those who have fought to make me free. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. Is that it? Yes. Yeah, just leave it there. One. Last one? That's the last one? Good. Yes. It says, God bless our military. As we as we ask the Lord that you guide the leaders mm -hmm. of our great country yes. in their decisions. Mm -hmm. The burdens that have been placed on their shoulders mm -hmm. is overwhelming. We ask that you uh, that, that with your infinite wisdom you guide them gently to the right decisions. Yes. It says, protect and guide our military, O Lord. Strengthen yes. them in their trial. Give them courage to face the perils which uh, beset them and grant them a sense of your abiding presence, whether they may be, wherever they may be, through Jesus our Lord. Amen. 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 Praise God. All right. We got them. <laughs> That's not what I'm going to talk to you about. I'm going to talk to you about having victory in Jesus. Amen. <laughs> Amen. So know this, that we have victory because of him. Yes. Amen. Victory belongs to you. Yes. You have the word of God. You need to take the word of God, get it in you so that it can come out of you. Amen. Yes. We don't want to be just saved and just have enough. Um, uh, what do I want to say? Uh, just barely be saved to get by. <laughs> or be, you could be a defeated Christian and still be Christian, but you want to do more than that, amen? Yes. You want to know that you can go out and do and have victory on a daily basis. Yes. So victory in Jesus because of what Jesus has already done for us. Uh -huh. Jesus paid it all. It's all paid in full. We have victory in Jesus. Victory is mine. Victory belongs to me. Say that. Victory belongs it to me. Belongs to That's me. right. It belongs to you. You say it and you know it. And you know what? When you get it in you and you start confessing it and the enemy knows that you are uh, uh, have the word of God in you and you've grown, he's going to run from you. Yes. He used to have you on the run. Now you put him on the run. Amen. Yes. You turn this around. Yes. We ain't going to have this anymore. That's right. John 8, 32 Amen. says, New King James, you shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. Yes. Used yes. to be this way. Used to be. That's past uh -huh. now. <laughs> I know the truth, and the truth is going to set me free. Amen. Amen. Because no longer can they keep me under. That's I am right. going to be above. Amen. First John 5, 4 and 5 in the NIV says, For everyone born of God overcomes the world. And yes. this is the victory that overcomes the world. Even our faith. Yes. Who is it that overcomes the world? Only the ones who believe. That uh -huh. Jesus is the Son of God. Amen. Amen. Victory is yours. Amen. Yes. So we have victory in Him. So thank you, Jesus. Amen. Yes, thank you, Praise God. <laughs> if you think you're fighting a losing battle, <sighs> fear not, mm -hmm. for you have victory in Him. Yes. Learn and stand in His victory. Learn to fight the good fight of faith. He's called us to fight the fight. Amen. But he's called us to fight the good fight of faith yes. on a daily basis. You got to get the word in you. Yes. And you got to spend time with him. Right. Say, Lord, I need your strength just to go yeah. out and fight this good fight of faith. Because yeah. the enemy, the world, anybody, and everything uh -huh. the enemy uses is going to come to try to knock you down. Yeah. Yeah. So you're fighting the good fight of faith. I want to stay faithful in serving him. Uh -huh. Amen. Also, it tells us, just quickly, it tells us in Ephesians, 
and you can um, mark this down, but uh, in Ephesians 6, uh, chapter 6, verses 10 through 18, it talks about putting on the whole armor of God. Mm -hmm. Why? Because when we've done all the stand, we're going to stand. Why? Because we're fighting against, let me see, we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, yes. against powers, against the rules of darkness of this right. age, against spiritual hosts and of wickedness in yeah. heavenly places. Therefore, we got to take the armor of God. Amen. Amen. We're fighting a spiritual battle. Guess what? <laughs> you're no match to the enemy. That's right. <laughs> if you're not in the word of God or using the word of God. Amen. Amen. So we've said this so many times, but part-time Christian is no match to a full-time devil. You're no match to a full-time devil. Amen. So we need to stay in the word, get in the word, stay in the word. Victory in Jesus. <laughs> and fear not, church. If you feel... Uh, cares, the worries of the world, you feel defeated, you feel hopeless, you feel uh, falsely accused, feeling your world is at the end, remember 2 uh, Timothy 1 and 7 says, for God has not given us a spirit of fear, but a power and a love and of a sound mind. Amen? Amen. These things the enemy uses to attack. Amen? And he tries to put them on there to try to put thoughts in you, to try to defeat you and pull you down and make you feel like, feel like you're a nobody, that you're defeated. But God put this fear on you. But you know when you get the word of God, not only is it going to set you free, it's going to, as you get the word of God in you, it's going to release the faith that you need yes. to walk. It says yes. we walk by faith, faith and not by sight. sight. You're no longer fearing whatever sight you see or circumstances you see. We're going to walk in faith because yeah. the word of God is strong in you. Yeah. Amen. So praise God. Right. Know that the Jesus paid the price in full, uh, full price and he is our sure victory. Yes. First Corinthians 5, uh, excuse me, First Corinthians 15, 57 through 58 says, But we thank God who has given us a victory through Jesus Christ, our Lord Jesus Christ. 58 says, so dear brothers and sisters, stand strong. Don't let anything change you. Always giving yourself fully to the work of the Lord. Yes. You know that your work is in the Lord. Yes. It's never wasted. Amen. So whatever you do, do it, do it as unto him Amen. and not unto man. Be a God pleaser and not yes. a man pleaser. Amen. Right. The yes. world says, do it my way. Do it this way. Oh. Please me and this and this and this. No. no? Be a God pleaser, amen? Yeah. Because you'll never please men, you'll never please the world. Right. Amen? Mm -hmm. Have victory in Jesus. Victory is mine. Love is mine. Peace is mine. We sing these things. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. When I was studying this, I told uh, Patricia, Pastor Pat over there, I said, you know what? If you haven't picked your songs for Sunday, <laughs> let me put in a few songs I'd like to, for you to sing. You know, put in a request. <laughs> I say victory in Jesus. Victory, love is mine. Victory is mine. Amen. It belongs to me. It is mine. Amen. The enemy don't want to see you grow. That's right. Because it's going to reveal to him. It's uh -huh. going to reveal to you that he's a nobody. Uh -huh. It's going to reveal to you that he's a defeated foe. Yes, he is. And you no longer have to be afraid of him. Right. So, you know, the more you grow, <laughs> the further he goes. Yeah. Amen. But the Bible says, submit yourself to God, resist the enemy, and uh -huh. he will Please. leave from you. That's He's right. got to go because of the word of God, because yeah. you're a child of God now. Amen? Yeah. Hallelujah. Woo. And the word's coming out of you, look it out. Yes. You don't want to hang out no more. That's right. <laughs> Love is mine, joy is mine, peace is mine, uh, happiness is mine, prosperity yeah. is mine. Every promise in the Bible can yeah. be yours. Amen? <laughs> the thing about it is, it's your choice. You yes. have to make this choice. Uh -huh. you got to make it yours. I want it, you know. Dust your Bible and go there. You yeah. have no more dust. Use it. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> use it, use it, use it. Amen. Praise God. God cannot lie. If he says he'll do it, you yeah. can count on it and remind yourself, victory really is yours. Once again, yeah. let's say it. Victory is mine. Yes, it is. Victory is mine. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. It's okay. You know, when you get with God and you get yourself in your, in your closet with him, right. you can yeah. talk to him, you know. You know, we'll talk to himself all the time. He can talk, just talk to him and say, I need your help. I need your help. I need, I need this. I need this, you know. 
I want to change, and he, he's going to be there for you. Amen. We're not fighting for victory. We're fighting from victory. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. We're fighting from victory because Amen. of what Jesus has already done. We have victory yes. in him on a daily basis yes. as you go out to fight the yes. good fight of faith. Thank you, Lord, that I have victory over the yes. situation. Amen. So no longer see yourself defeated. See yourself victorious. Yes. Amen. Victory yes. in Jesus. We all have a choice to make daily. To trust in Jesus and live in victory. Or trust the flesh and li live in defeat. Yes. Amen. People are going to see you. Guess what? They see the same person. You can go and come back year after years. And they still see the same person. A little older maybe. Mm -hmm. But they see the same person. They know the old person. Mm -hmm. And you've been born again. But they... That was on the inside. It was an inside change. It was an inside uh, yeah, inside birth. job. Inside job, yeah. <laughs> God can see the inside job, yeah. but the people can't. So they see the right. same person, and they try to refer to the same old things, mm -hmm. what you used to do. Yeah. And you got to let them know. Yeah. And that's a, a different person now. Yes. I'm a different person. Amen. That person don't live anymore. That's right. <laughs> I'm a new creature in Christ. Creature in Christ. That's, what, that's what the word of God says. I'm a new creature in Christ. Yeah. Old things are gone. New is in. Yeah. And that's you. And don't let them change you back. Because I'm going to stand strong in him. The world's going to always try to change you back. The enemy is always going to try to bring you yeah. back. But you stand strong in him. Amen. Yeah. It says when you've done all to stand, you do what? Stand. stand. Amen. Stand your ground. Amen. Hallelujah. Woo, hallelujah. You know what? That's what David did. He knew who was backing him. Uh -huh, yeah. When he saw giants, when you see those giants facing yeah. you on a daily basis, these giant circumstances, these giant problems facing oh, you yeah. on a daily basis, that's, you just say, hey, nobody's bigger than my that's God. That's right. Amen. Yeah. Nobody's bigger than my God. No weapon formed against me is going to prosper. That's right. Amen. And David stood his ground and he yeah. went, he told the giant, he said, I'm going to knock you down. I'm going to cut your head off. He said, I'm going to have you today. Uh -huh. And all the things you're facing, you know, you can have. Yes. Amen. Because you know what? You know who you are, and you know who's backing you. Mm. <laughs> Nobody's bigger than my God, isn't it? Right. Praise yeah. God. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> Jesus is busy behind the scenes to bless yes. you and to show favor. The yes. devil is working hard to try to stop you. Okay. Amen. Yeah. Bible says, well, John 10.10 10 is the next scripture. It yeah. talks about the thief. The enemy comes except to steal, kill, and destroy. destroy. That's his mission. Steal, uh -huh. kill, destroy. Mm -hmm. If those things are happening, you know something's got to change. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. You got to change. And uh, But Jesus says, I've come that you might have life right. and, have and right. that you might have it more abundantly. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So praise God. You know, it's okay to have the blessings, uh -huh. but don't forget about the blessed are. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Right. Go to the blesser first. Yes. You know, he wants you to have it more abundant. And Jesus came so that we could have his blessings, his abundance raining down on us mm -hmm. in our lives. Amen. Yes. And you know, <laughs> when those things happen, people are going to see that. Uh -huh. And they're going to be jealous. They're going to talk about you. Oh, boy. Let them talk. <laughs> Let them talk. talk. Just don't you change. Amen. That's right. Only, one, That's only right. change you're going to make is change from <laughs> enemy to him, to Jesus. Yes. Amen. Yeah. Praise, Praise God. God. Can you imagine an abundance of yes. Jesus? Favor raining down on us at all yes. times. He all came right. that we could have it <coughs> abundantly. Yes. Amen. Yes. So receive it abundantly. Yes. Thank you, Lord. And you know, you, <laughs> when you spend time with him and you're overwhelmed, you know, it's okay to close your eyes. I told you this before. <laughs> you know, sometimes it just shows tears rolling down. <laughs> Sometimes it shows by your hands going up and say, Lord, I surrender my will to you, Lord. Sometimes you get on your knees <laughs> and just say thank you. Sometimes you may just want to lay down before him. Yes. Amen. Hey, or sometimes you may just want to take off and run around the building or run around the house or something. Hallelujah. And kids say, what's wrong with mom? What's wrong with this? <laughs> Woo, hallelujah. The Lord just came all over him. Amen. <laughs> Praise God. It's okay. You know, if that happened here, it's okay. You know, <laughs> we we go to all these sporting events, you know, people get crazy. You know, they jump up and down, oh, they dress man. all weird and stuff, oh, and wow. shout and do dance and 
do all kind of crazy things. You know, even run naked on the field. We come to church and nobody can move us. The, the, the house of the frozen chosen, you know. <laughs> we, we, we can't be. We, <laughs> we don't want to move, you know. I say, what's up with this, you know? I say, he, he paid a price. He paid it. Jesus yes. uh, sacrificed his son. Jesus yes. paid a, 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 a price for us, you know? Oh, he bought you. <laughs> you belong to him, yes. you know? I say, it's okay to raise your hands or share some tears. It's okay, you know what your neighbor, it don't matter what your neighbor says. That's right. Don't worry about your neighbor next to you. Maybe they need a little, you know, set loose, you know? Release, be released in Jesus' name, amen. <laughs> amen. And Luke 4, 3, uh, 3 says, And the devil said unto him, If thou, listen, if thou be the Son of God, command God. these stones yeah. to be made yeah. bread. Yeah. says, If thou. Yeah. He already knew. Yeah, he knew. Amen. He would just say, If you are the Son of God, why don't you command these breads, uh, or these stones to be bread? Uh -oh. Isn't that just like the devil? He yeah. said, If you're the Son of God, they show me. <laughs> but what did Jesus come back with the word of God? Mm -hmm. <laughs> he came back in Luke 4 and, and 4 and says, Jesus answered him and said, It is written, yeah. The man yeah. shall not live by yeah. bread alone, but by every word of God. Amen. Jesus didn't have to prove anything yeah. to him. Yeah. Luke 4 8, and Jesus answered and said unto him, Get there behind me, Satan. Uh -huh. <laughs> This is what we must do. Yes. Amen. We fight the good fight of faith. Yeah. But you know what? As you spend time with him and as you go out, yeah. you just say, get behind me, Satan. Right. Or you know what? You can just tell him where he belongs. Under, under my feet. <laughs> get under my feet. Yes. I'm going to walk on you all day long. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm going to yeah. walk on you all day long. Praise Amen. God. So praise yeah. God. This is when you know the truth. Yeah. The truth yeah. is going to set you free. No yeah. longer can he just walk all over That's you or right. have you on the run. You're going to put him on the run. Yes. Submit yourself to God. Resist yes. him. Yes. And he's got to go. Yeah. He's got to flee. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Never knew he was whipped. Yeah. <laughs> but that didn't stop him. Hmm. He still uses the same old tricks same old on all of God's children uh -huh. if they let or allow him. Uh -huh. Okay? He is persistent. 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 Thank you. Yes. <laughs> Remind yes. him and say, Victory is mine. Yes. Get thee behind me. That's right. Amen. That's you right. gotta use the word, you know. Yes. Use the word of God. When you use the word. It'll put him on the road. That's right. Amen. That's right. If Jesus can use it, so can I. Yes. So you got to make that choice. Remember, again, yeah. part-time Christian is no match to a full-time. That's right. Remember, a, you fight a spiritual battle. Uh -huh. If you're not in the Word, if you're not in the Spirit, uh -huh. if you're not in the Spirit, you're no match to the enemy. That's right. So we can't go part-time doing these things. You know, yes. we got to be full-time. Amen. Amen. First John 4, 4 says, You are of God, little children, and have overcome them, because he who is in you is greater than he who is in the world. That's right. Amen. So we have to know this. As yes. children of God, greater is he that's in me than he yes. who is in the world. Say, right. so Satan, I just serve you notice right now. That's, that's, it. that's it. it. You're not going to put me on a run anymore. That's right. I'm submitting myself to God, yeah. and you've got to go. Amen. Amen. I know the truth. And the truth is setting me free yeah. right now. Mm -hmm. John 16, 33. And these things I have spoken unto you, that in me you might have peace, yeah. and in the world you shall have tribulations. But be of good cheer. Yeah. I have overcome, overcome the, world. the world. Amen. Amen. Yeah. You're an overcomer. You're a child of God. You're a champion. You're a winner. Yeah. See yourself the way he sees you. Yeah. Yeah. God sees you a winner. Yeah. He sees you a champion. He sees you an overcomer. He sees you fulfilling your mission. Mm -hmm. But the world <laughs> and Satan is going to try to change this yeah. for you. So don't allow yourself to be changed. That's don't right. allow yourself to be put down. Amen. Amen. Well, everything you do, do it as unto him. Yes. Amen. And don't Praise let the God. enemy bring you down. Amen. John 6, uh, 16, 33 in the uh, easy to read version says, I have told you these things so that you can have peace in me. Uh -huh. In this world, you will have troubles. Uh -huh. But be brave. I have defeated the world. Yes. I have defeated Satan. Yes. Amen. 
you're going to have troubles. Yes, on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. Amen. But that's okay. Greater is he that's in you than he yes. that's in the world. Mm -hmm. And you have victory yeah. over these things because yeah. Jesus has already been there. Yeah. You know, hey, I've got to go somewhere different today. Well, guess what? Jesus has already been there. Yeah. So I feel good. Amen. <laughs> because victory belongs to me. Yeah. Amen. Praise God. It doesn't matter where you have where you go. He's already been there. Yeah. He's already there. And you yeah. can have victory. Jesus handed us the victory when he overcame the cross. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. 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 He gave us a victory. He gave yeah. it to us, you know. So why have we been why have we been living defeated all this time? Mm. Because of lies. Because of lies, you know, you didn't know, so so and so told you, and so and so told somebody else, oh, and they just go by what so and so uh -huh. says instead of what the Word of God says. Yes. It's time you pick up your Bible yeah. and start reading for yourself Amen. so that I know what the Word of God says, not what so and so yeah. said. Yeah. <laughs> I know I can go here myself yeah. and know for sure what the Amen. Word of God is because this is what's going to, the truth is going to set me free. Yes. Amen. So people are going to lie to you and they're going to keep you defeated because they don't want to make the change. That's right. You're making the change. They don't want to make the change. And they're going to be jealous and they want you to stay where they're at. And they're in the pits and you don't have to stay in the pits anymore. The devil knows exactly what you have right uh, have rights to with your relationship mm -hmm. with Jesus and the Father. He knows what your rights are, but he wants to keep you uh, blind. He wants to keep you blind in here. <laughs> Praise God. Hallelujah. We had a great uh, Bible study Wednesday. <laughs> Paul, you know Saul? <laughs> he was going around thinking and doing what he thought was the right thing to do. <laughs> well, Jesus got a hold of God, got a hold of him, and knocked him off his horse. Mm -hmm. So he needs to knock some of us off our horse, mm -hmm. off our throne, mm -hmm. so that he can go and get on the throne. Oh. Amen. Mm -hmm. But he knocked Saul off his horse. Immediately uh -huh. he started crawling around. He was blinded. Uh -huh. Amen. He was blinded. But he says, is this you, Lord? <laughs> what did I do? <laughs> well, he, his followers heard voices. Mm -hmm. They heard the voice. Mm -hmm. And they went and helped him, and they took him in, in, in the city. And then God, uh, he'd been, all this time he was praying. All this time he was praying. He knew he was seeking God. Amen. And God heard him. And God talked to Ananias and said, you go and you lay hands on him. He says, I've heard him. You go lay hands on him. He went and Ananias went. <laughs> First he says, I ain't going there because... Have you heard what he's been doing? Mm -hmm. <laughs> the world heard yeah. what you've been doing. Yeah. But still, God wants to use you mightily. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen? He's put you on this mission, and he don't want you to be laid up anymore. Amen. He wants right. you to get up, you como se llama, and press on with the things yeah. of God. Amen. He says, go lay hands on him. Uh -huh. And when he went praying and laid hands on him, <clears throat> those scales come off. Yeah. yeah. Amen? And then he, listen, this man that was going around killing Christians, mm -hmm. all of a sudden had a big change. Yes. God changed his name to Paul. Uh -huh. Paul used Paul in a mighty way, wrote two thirds of the New Testament. Yes. Amen. And he was so full of God when he spent most of his time mm -hmm. in prison, locked up, still writing two thirds of the Bible. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. And God used him mightily. So guess what? He wants to do the same thing for you. Amen. He wants mm -hmm. to use you. But we've been captured and, and we're locked up and we're, we're just feeling sorry for ourselves. Oh, it's time to get off, get off of that yeah. and start receiving what God has for you. Yeah. So you no longer have to stay there and say, here it is, scales come off and now we know the truth and we got full of the word and I'm stepping out in faith mm. and I'm going to fulfill what God called me to do. Mm. Big or small, it doesn't matter. The matter is... Are you doing it unto him? Yeah, yeah. You're stepping out and saying, Lord, I'm doing this because of you. Uh -huh. I'm doing this unto you. And you step out and say, yes. You know, he, t he always talks about our human body. Every part of this body serves and thus has a function. But it all functions 
in unity. Yes. And that's what the body of Christ needs to do. Uh -huh. Big or small, whatever he's called you to do, he's gifted you. Do it as unto him uh -huh. and do it in unity and do it in love. Amen. Mm -hmm. Ooh, hallelujah. I'm preaching better than you amen at me now. <laughs> he also knows everything that you're entitled to. He knows the power of God is capable what the power of God is capable of doing. Uh -huh. We're talking about singing. Yes. The greatest victory the devil has over the church and Christians is cheating every man and woman, boy and girl, out of the victory God has already given uh -huh. to you. Yes. You have victory, but He's been lying to you. Yes. So no longer accept any lies from you. That's right. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Praise Thank God. <laughs> it doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter how much or how little you uh -huh. have. If you know Jesus as your Lord and Savior, yes. you're a threat to Satan. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. So praise God. <clears throat> Thank you, Lord. And in closing. Amen. Glory. <laughs> Woo. Hallelujah. I heard that. <laughs> your victory belongs Amen. or your victory begins with believing in God's word yes. Amen. it doesn't matter what the circumstances look like right. it doesn't matter what the odds look like you know, That's it. if David against Goliath odds are not looking so good <laughs> but nothing is bigger than my God That's it. you know who's backing me and say you're no match to my God Praise God. That's it. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. God is never just a God of the rarely get by. Amen. He is good and plenty. Amen. He's over the top, more than enough. Yes. He's a God of abundance. Amen. Yes. Amen. In everything. <clears throat> we have a need for the victory in every situation uh -huh. is provided for us Amen. at the cross. Amen. That's why we can confidently say, victory is mine. Um, we have victory in Jesus, yes. and victory belongs to me. Amen. 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 Just remember that victory is mine. Yes. Because of Jesus, I have victory. Amen. Amen. So praise God. I hope that blesses you. And this is on a daily basis, not just once in a while, but on a daily basis, victory belongs to me. On a daily basis, because of what Jesus has done and the choices that you are doing, or the choices that you're going to make in receiving Him as your Lord and Savior. Those of you that are listening and watching, if you never accepted Jesus, your Lord and Savior, now is the time. Amen. Every day, any day, is the day of yes. changing. And you want to change from going the wrong way to going the right way with Him. Amen. Amen. So all you have to do is repent. Ask Jesus to forgive you, receive him as your Lord and Savior, say, come into my life and be my Lord and Savior, amen? Yes. And start getting in the Word. Find your church that teaches from the Word of God yes. and start growing and going for him, amen? Yes. Praise God, amen. amen. So praise God. God is good. I hope to bless you as much as you blessed me. <laughs> I thought I was uh, not going to be able to, uh, to 